Hey everyone. So um, today is going to be the first in a multi-video series going over game day analysis. Um, yeah, this is a, a project that like I've wanted to do for a really long time, um, and now I'm finally you know getting around to it because I wanted to you know share my process behind you know some of the attention selection for you know some of the more competitive meets that I've done. Um, so this first installment is going to go over 2022 and 2023 bench nationals. Um, and the reason for my grouping both of those bench only meets together, a couple of reasons. One, um, they both yielded similar results for me. Um, I actually ended up with the same weight lifted 137.5 kilograms in both of them. Um, and, you know, I'll explain it in a little more detail later on in the video, but, you know, as you can see from the videos, um, in both cases, I, it did look like, you know, there was a lot left in the tank. And I did that on purpose because, yeah, I was really focusing more on placing with those meets rather than, you know, trying to hit PRs. Um, in 2022 in Vegas, I won the national championship. Um for bench nationals in my weight class. And in 2023, I came in second, but again, you know, focusing on placing the top two to, you know, secure my pro card. Um, so again, placing in those meets was a lot more important than PRs for me. And so I'll, like, I'll go into further about my thought process behind selection, you know, with that meet, um, the second installment is going to be, you know, 20, my going over my win in 2024 USAPL New York States, which, yeah, might be you know, more exciting for, you know, most of you, I know bench only is kind of boring. Um, and, you know, the 2024, you know, States win was probably, you know, more recent and more relevant, but yeah, I did want to go over bench nationals first because, it is a little bit simpler because you only have to focus on one lift. Yeah, you know, there's no math involved. You know, it's just you know, oh, you finish with you know benching more weight than the other person, or yeah, in the case of like yeah, you know, body weight, you know, you can tie yeah at a light, lighter body weight. Um, so yeah, you know, like you know, going for the win is a bit simpler, but yeah, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, especially even like you know people who coach a lot of people but only at local meets and they're just going for prs yeah they might not very be very experienced with you know, things like you know, third attempt changes and even lot numbers and things like that so I mean, there are a lot of misconceptions so yeah that's part of the reason why like i wanted to do this video is so like you guys can learn about that thought process and learn you know more about what goes into you know, attempt selection for those really competitive meets where like you are going head to head and, you know, sometimes, you know, placing is more important than PRs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay. So go over to the USAPL lifting database. So as you can see, I pulled up both 2022 and you know 2023 in both tabs. So as you can see, really with both of these, um, so yeah, in 2022, my main appointment was Joey, Joby Kim. Um, I weighed in lighter, as you can see, yeah, I weighed in at 65.27, Joby weighed in 66.45, but yeah, he had a lot higher lot number. Um, he had a lot number 152, I had a lot number 138. Um, and then, you know, I'll go to the other tab, 2023 Bench Nationals in Arizona. Um, I mean, you know, Jeff ran away with it pretty easily. Like, you know, he opened heavier than, you know, what I was going to plan for my third attempt. Um, but, yeah, I was also going up against Andrew Lefcourt for that second spot. 
again, I had body weight advantage, um, 64.85 uh, versus 66.29. Um, but again, I also had the lower lot number, uh, 120 versus 122. Um, and that lot number is really important. Um, you know, kind of, you know, get into the thought process behind my third attempts. But yeah, if I had a lot number, that would have changed things a lot. So one misconception about lot numbers, like I, I hear, so, I sometimes hear people say at local meets, like, yo, that's a tiebreaker in case you guys both weigh the same. That's actually not true. Um, so yeah, the second tiebreaker, yeah, and this is in the rule book, yeah, if you do have the same exact body weight, the next tiebreaker is whoever gets the total first. Um, so, yeah, in that case, like if you already know, if you do have a tied body weight um, and, you know, you know how much the other person's total, you got a total bit more than them. You, you got you to go for the one. You can't just go for the tie. But what lot number does is it, you know, changes the order of lifting. So, you know, if you put the same, if you call for the same weight on the bar, um, so, you know, in this case, you know, both I and Andrew, you know, called for a 137 and a half, the person with the lower lot number goes first. Um, and so, like, you know, 137, like, I would go, and then Andrew would go. Um, now, you know, the reason why, yeah, this is important, like, you know, if I wanted to change my attempts, so... Say if I say I put 140 and, you know, Andrew took 137 and a half before I did um, and missed it, theoretically, like, I would have only needed to, you know, take 137 and a half. Um, but because he already attempted that weight and he had the higher lot number, I can't go down to that weight. So, yeah, that, that's one of the tricky things if you don't have lot number advantage and, you know, the attempts are really close. Like, you know, that's something that you have to keep in mind. Um, now, obviously, like, you know, if like there's a big difference and you're, you're, you're lifting like much, a much heavier third attempt, you know, than the other person, then, you know, it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, I mean, you know, say like, you know, if, like, you know, Jeff's third attempt is, uh, you know, way past what either of our third attempts were going to be. Like, you know, in that case, like, you know, what I or Andrew did, like, you know, didn't affect what Jeff was going to do at all. Um, but, you know, certainly, like, you know, if it is close, like, you, do, that is something that is very important to keep in mind. Yeah, and just like with Jovi, you know, again, you know, he had the higher lot number so again like you know going to 140 would have been too big a risk because yeah, if he came back and hit 137 and a hot half on his third i would have been stuck with 140 even though like i only needed 137 and a half to tie um so yeah going into that yeah that was why yeah i picked the attempt yeah that i went just from 135 to 137 and a half. I knew Jovi missed 137 and a half on his second. So I knew that, yeah, that, that was what I was going to go with. Um, because, you know, again, yeah, even though this did mean that I wasn't going to go last, I knew, like, I knew I had 137 and a half. And, you know, if I made it, then, you know, he would have had to go up to 140. Yeah, in order to beat me. And, you know, of course, you know, th there have been instances where people have missed second attempts on strength and gone up and made it. But, you know, the probability of that yeah, is going to be in your favor. So, you know, this was a situation where I knew I definitely had 137 and a half. You know, if I make it, you know, force him to go up from a miss, um, you know, I'd, you know, rather take my chances with that than, you know, try to put a weight that's too heavy and then be stuck with it, you know, even if I don't need it. And so the same thing with 
Andrew. Um, now, one of the differences here, you know, again, he's going up from made attempts. Um, but yeah, I actually, like my original plan in 2023 was to go to 140. But then when I see saw that Andrew put 137 and a half as his third attempt, I changed my third attempt. So 137 and a half. Again, knowing that, you know, a tie wouldn't have been good enough for him to beat me. Like he would have had to go up, but he didn't. Um, and so, yeah, in that case, you know, again, going for the tie was like, you know, a much safer option, you know, knowing that I didn't have lot number advantage. You know, if I did have a higher lot number in both cases, I would have put 140 on the bar and waited to see how you know the other person's third attempt moved before making a change like you know see those lights you know if he misses then you know stay with 140 because i've already had I've, I've already won and you know it doesn't matter but then you know, like you know in either case if he makes that 137 and a half put that attempt change right away to get it down to 137 tie go for the win on body weight um, but yeah, so yeah, that's where a lot number comes in. Um, you know, it's like, yeah, make, making those third attempt changes. You have to account for that, uh, you know, especially if your attempts are close. Um, now would I have done things differently? Um, in the case of, yeah, 2022, no, um, yeah, I think, you know, going for my training, going into that meet, 140 was my top end. Um, and, you know, again, knowing how things played out, you know, 137 and a half was absolutely the right call. I mean, like, I, I have no regrets whatsoever about my attempt change, uh, my attempt selection there. As for... 2023 um and my game plan was 130 135 140 but yeah i had thought about yeah like yeah i hit 142 and a half in the gym but it wasn't really the competition standard and yeah i think mean, you know given how training was going in that last month going up in the bench nationals like yeah I didn't really want to risk it with like all the variables like commands, which yeah, it turned out was probably too conservative. Like I probably did have 142 and a half on that day, in which case I like go in 130, doing 137 on on my second attempt, I like would have put Andrew away much earlier, made this much less dramatic, and then you know, go for 142 and a half on my 30. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered for placing, but yeah, you know, kind of, you know, knowing that I had that top two place in the bag could have tried to up my dot score with a bigger third attempt. But I mean, you know, that's the picking. Um, yeah, you know, I think, you know, given the thought, given like how close this was, like, you know, I, I think like, you know, my thought process on the day was something that like I'd be happy with. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. Otherwise, have a good one.